handmade right here in the UK in my shop. Welcome to Norfabs. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel. My name's Nathan and this is the No Fabs channel. Now, the aim of this channel is mainly fabrication stuff, but from time to time I do still do the odd uh, product review when companies contact me and ask me if I would like to receive a product and I do a review for it in return. Yeah, obviously it's, it's great for them, it gives them exposure, it's great for me, I get a free product and it's great for you guys, you get a bit of content. So that's what today's video is all about. Now. We are not at work, as you can probably tell. I am currently sat in my camper van because that's what we're going to be installing today's product on. So the product of today's video is a, a Toto head unit. Now I'm going to show you the head unit, what's in my camper already. I mean, it's it's not it's not terrible, but if you've seen the other video where I got the car playing, the Tiguan and stuff, I've been spoiled with that now. I've been able to watch Netflix, YouTube and all of a host of other stuff on the head unit. It really makes this one feel old and dated. So luckily for me, the company at Toto, they reached out to me and said, look, we want to send you a head unit. Would you be interested in reviewing it? I said, have you got anything what would suit the Fiat Ducato? That's what my camper is. Um, they said, yeah, we've, we've got this nine inch screen. I had a quick look at some of their other reviews, what people have done. I thought, you know what? That looks pretty mint. That's going to go well in my camper because that's the only thing I'm missing. Sometimes when you're on a long drive, it's nice to have a, um, a music video or missus has want a film on playing or something while we're driving because we have done... A lot of trips in this, we've been around Europe and everything, so yeah, we do spend a lot of time in here. But anyway, let's have a quick look at the one that's already in there. Like I say, it's not terrible. It is, as far as Ducatos go, this is like their top of the line one. It's the best one that they do for the year of this vehicle. This is a 2018. So let's have a little look at it before we get started. So here it is. As this is a factory motorhome, this one does have sat-nav as standard, so the nav is okay it's not great it's okay but the problem is the screen the screen is so small i mean what i'd probably say the screen is what two inches by maybe four inches so it's a really really small screen it's hard to see it while you're driving it's actually quite dangerous to be fair when you're driving in a sunshiny like a sunny climate and the sun's glaring off that little screen you find yourself squinting to try and look at it it's actually quite dangerous for the sat nav in all honesty sound wise it sounds great it's got a colour screen, so it's not too bad. Like I say, it's not too bad. It's got this nice shiny fascia and stuff. It's not too bad. As far as head units go in the Ducatos and the... the uh, oh, What's the other one now? This is the Fiat Ducato. They do another van what's almost exactly the same as this. I can't remember the brand of it off the top of my head. Um, but yes, as far as it goes, this is like the top of the line is the ones they do. They do some small single din ones and they do, they do do another one of these that hasn't got the sat nav on it. But... We're going to upgrade it today. I want a little bit more. So let me get you guys set up on some form of camera attachment and we'll look at start removing this one. Let's get on with it. Okay, let's have a little look together then what we get in the box. So the company are called a Toto. I, I hope I'm um, pronouncing that correctly. They did give me a couple of different options. They gave me a seven inch and a nine inch. I did say that the seven inch, uh, sorry, that the nine inch would be better for mine. Obviously the bigger the screen, the better it will look in the dashboard. So let's unbox it and let's have a little look what we get in the box. Cause I have not had a look yet. This is the first time I'm looking with you guys. So that's a screen protector. So it looks like you do get a couple of those warranty online support and some basic instructions there's not much right in there it's just a case of looking at the pictures hopefully we won't need them but we'll see how we get on i'll just put them to one side let's have a look what you get in this little box then wow an absolute mountain of power cables and stuff jesus so i'm not an audio professional i'm really hoping all this is going to be plug and play and it's not going to need any soldering or anything like that USB cable, external mic, uh, another USB cable. <sighs> Jesus, I'm not too sure what all these are. We'll have a look. We'll delve into that a little bit later on. Uh, Bluetooth antenna. I'm really hoping we're not going to need to do any soldering on this. Um, that is, that's a GPS antenna, definitely. And some kind of little plates, which may be for a attaching it to the uh, the metal framework of the original head unit okay let's put that to one side for a second 
let's have a look at the actual unit then now it looks very thin because the box is very thin there it is guys you've seen it for the first time with me a toto nice size screen a hell of a lot bigger than the other one we'll do a comparison in a moment that should look really nice in the dashboard now it is very thin so that's going to be good news for us so when i last fitted a aftermarket head unit in one of my vehicles was probably back in my younger days when i was you know modifying cars courses and all that jazz the main thing we used to struggle with doing double din head units was getting all the wires behind the dash and getting it in i won't have any problem with this because it's so thin all the wires should fit in there with ease i would have thought we've got quite a few connections on back of there we'll delve into them as we get it to pieces so i think next step let's spin you guys around and let's get the original one out and see what's what also there is two parts to this install so a toto sent me uh, the head unit but i did have to get this myself so this is a, a double din conversion kit for a a fiat ducato just because the original head unit has got its own little fascia built into it you do have to get this so let's have a look at this i thought that were a bit of damage on it then it's not it's not damage it's just um just some muck on it so there is the fascia adapter what else do you get in the uh, in the installation kit then more cables that is that is a canvas box, I believe, which will come in handy because the canvas box allows the original steering wheel buttons to still function, I think. Hopefully we'll see. And also when you open the doors and that, it should tell you on the screen when the doors are open. That's what I think that is. Again, I'm not sure. Some more metal plates and... Uh, what on earth is that? Key one, key two ground. I have no idea that oh, don't know that's an adapter for the AM FM that may that may be for because this has got an external USB on the standard stereo and it has got an external aux cable as well that may be a convert for that again we will have to find out in due course right Without further ado, let's spin you guys around and let's get this stereo stripped out of this dashboard. Right, we're going to give it a bit of a whirl like this. I've kind of got you guys set up on a suction cup from a skylight on a, uh, on a pole and then the camera. So hopefully it doesn't fall around too much. So the first, it's not an issue I don't think or I hope not. I don't have the radio keys here with me. I'm obviously not at work. I am at home at the moment. Now I do have the radio keys, uh, the tools to release the radio at work. But... I'm not at work, I'm at home, and all I've got at home is bush tools. So what we're going to use is we're going to use four thin screwdrivers, and I think that will do the job just the same, but we shall see. So that felt good. Again, that also feels like it's pushing the release tabs. They are only tabs. This one, <laughs> I haven't got four that are straight. This one is slightly bent, so we'll see. It feels like it does it. So we'll turn the radio off, and let's see if that has released at all. Right, let's pull that up so I can get my hand there. Yes, it has. Yes, that's released that. I don't think that one's releasing. Let's try this. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's get that one back in now. That's a, a map thing. There we go. That's the stereo released. So the bush tools worked. You're probably thinking, why do you call it bush tools? It's a little joke between me and my friends. Obviously we work in a garage nicely with nice tools. We used to have Land Rover off-roaders and when we'd go out in the off-roaders and we'd break down in the bush, we'd end up using what's called bush tools, which is like bent screwdrivers and Halford sockets, which is obviously a far stretch from the, uh, the nice stuff we work with at work. Right, this stereo is very weirdly shaped. It's very thin. Also, this is probably going to be coded. So if you are doing this on your own and you haven't got the radio code, I check first because you could end up losing the code. And if, for instance, if this doesn't fit and I have to put the original one back in, we may not have the radio code for it. All right, we're going to start releasing some of these tabs. Ow. 
and that's the main plug out. So that's the original stereo out. Now, when I said it was a weird shape, I wasn't expecting this to be so thin. I thought it was going to be a lot fatter than that. But there we go. I can't actually see the radio code written on it, so hopefully it's in my manual if I do need it. Hopefully it won't. Hopefully we won't need it. Hopefully with the new stereo will fit in there, but obviously it is a universal one. It's not exactly made for this car. One issue I am seeing straight away is I don't believe that cage is going to be able to go back in, which is what I'm hoping a lot of them metal things have come with the kit are for. We'll put that out of the way for a second. Put that down there. Right. There is absolutely no instructions whatsoever. Absolutely none. So I'm going at this completely blind, and we'll see. Let's have a look, see if we can fathom out what these plates do. Hmm. Right. Ah, you see, that kind of makes sense. Look, they look like yeah, so they're going to slide in there, aren't they? Look, we're going to unscrew this out. I'm assuming that that slides in there like that. That bolt hole will line up to that one. And probably very similar on that side. That kind of gives you that. That must be what they're for. I'm just going to grab a tool. It looks like it's a T30 Torx bit. I haven't got that with me at the second. Let me just run into the garage, grab a T30 Torx bit, and we'll resume. All right, got a little Torx screwdriver. Let's take these screws out and see what we're dealing with. I'm just going to put them in my cup holder. Cool, so that's the original cage out of the way. Now, let's see if that they line up as I thought they did. Hmm, no. Not with that part of the dash there, they don't. Oh, come on, guys. Don't tell me I ain't got to start chopping dash to bits. Otherwise, I'm uh, I'm going to be very reluctant to do that. I'm not going to lie. I am going to be very, very reluctant to start cutting the dashboard up. Right, well, we won't need to cut the dashboard to get that in there. That will fit in there just fine. really don't want to start chopping dashboard so let's have a, a little ganders well that just dropped in there and that's actually on magnets so it's sort of like magnetizers to them also i'm not that fond on that that's a bit tacky this is not from the guys at a toto this is actually from car audio security hmm maybe i'm missing something maybe i'm missing something maybe these plates go don't go out. Well, they've got to. They've got to go like that. There's no other way for them to go. I really don't want to start hacking the dash up. Let's, um, let's have a little think about this before we make any rash decisions. So, looks like I am left with no choice. I am going to have to trim a bit of this dash. I've sort of sat and looked at this for a while to, to try and figure out how it goes. The only way that goes is goes on there because the actual fascia plate fits on a magnet. I have installed the uh, the fascia plate onto the stereo. Let me just pull this cable out. Yeah, so I have installed the fascia plate onto the stereo. So that's what holds everything together. It's on magnets. So fortunately, I am going to have to trim a little bit of this dash. I'm not happy about it, but I'm going to have to. Now, I'm not going to butcher it. I'm going to try and make this as neat as possible. So <laughs> don't judge my setup. I'm using just a hacksaw blade. Making light work of that. Right, I'm just making sure I've gone deep enough. I say I'm really not impressed with doing that, but if I want it on there, I've got to do it. And I want it in there. To be fair, that might be all I need to do. It is, look, that's all I need to do. Just put a slit, literally a slit, just to allow that to fit down. That'll then screw back in. And, um, I think a screw goes through there as well, which it, the kit did come with. So it weren't too bad, it's not too intrusive. I'm not overly happy about it, but what can I do? So 
sometimes you have to uh, you have to make sacrifices for a modification. I need to go a bit deeper on that side. Right, happy days with that. Um, let's screw that in now, which was these T30s, weren't it? Let's screw that back in. And, and that one it was. Now the kit did come with loads and loads of other plates. I'm just not 100% sure what each and every one of them is at the moment. So let me just, um, just pull everything out of this and just, just have a trial run with that. Right, so as you can see, that it does snap on there, but without any of them plates on, we've got a bit of movement. So I'm assuming that's what the plates do. It, it would hold on there like that, but I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I don't, I don't want it vibrating around while I'm driving, so... Let's have a look at what these little plates do then. I'm, I'm pretty sure some of these plates are gonna do something. Just not sure which one does what. Let's have a little play, I think. I'm guessing, I'm guessing they, one of them screws on there. Hmm. After looking a little bit longer, that screws to the side of the stereo. And you're gonna have one of them, you can have one of these either side like that now it does mean i only have to chop a little bit more of that dashboard out but that should stop it from from jingling up and down at that point then if i just trim it out a little bit more so we'll just do it gently try and not block your guys view so you can see what i'm actually doing i'm going to use that as a bit of a template so i know how deep to go This camper cost me a lot of money, and it's absolutely criminal that I'm sat here with an axle blade hacking dash up. But, ah well, we're all right, aren't we? We're all right. There we go. So that fits in there once that's screwed to the actual unit that will stop it being able to move up and down it's actually a really nice tight fit so we need to do exactly the same as that on the other side i'm <laughs> i'm not even sure if i'm doing this right way guys <laughs> there might be some audio experts out there like oh my god what is he doing but i'm a fabricator i'm good at fabricating probably not so good at installing audio stuff there we go and same again that will fit in there nice so we need to screw that to the actual head unit itself now two little screws we'll screw that to the head unit and then i think that'll fit in there and if it does we can start plugging wires in and see if it actually works Boom, that fits in there, sweet, flush around bottom, flush on top, absolutely no movement at all, that is solid, it's probably going to take a fair bit of pressure to pull it back out, sat nice with my dashboard, yeah, it actually that is looking, I'll give you a better look towards the end, obviously I'll pan around with camera, we'll get screen protector on, we'll give it all the wipe, get a little dust off, that's not looking too bad, right, see if we can get it back out. Okay, let's start plugging some wires in then. Let's um, let's have a look, see what we can do. So it does already have a factory GPS antenna. However, the fitment is different. Also, the car interface thing is different. Now I've seen some people 
on forums that are fitted aftermarket stereos in these and you can buy an adapter for that so the original usb will still work sadly i don't have that with me today so that is something i have to get a later date but you've just seen how easy it is to pull in and out it's it's going to be like a 10 minute job for me to do that at a later date because i do want that to work it does come with some usbs that plug into the actual stereo itself look but i want to keep that factory usb i'll show you down here in a minute but the factory usb and aux thing is down here just by my knee I want to keep that working so i am going to order an adapter for that it also does run the uh, the dual aerials i don't know the exact names for them uh, i've just found one second so you do get an adapter to am fm analog adapter i think it might be I, I don't know the names of these ones what they're called i don't know not sure but what it does plug into one of them then that will give us working radio if I remember rightly, it goes in the white one, and we'll, we'll, again, we'll have to check. But yeah, I'm going to order an adapter for one of them. We're not going to run them USB um, universal ones. We're not going to do that. So let's start plugging it in then. Now, I have already seen that there is two cables that come with it. There's a ISO A and an ISO B cable. We're using the B cable. We're going to use the B one. And... Um, that will just plug directly into the thing then that's the cam bus box which should get the steering wheel controls working but i'm not too sure what key one key two obviously i know what gnd means that means ground but i'm not too sure what key one and key two are i'm unsure if we need to put power to them i'm gonna have a, a quick google search in a second before i put it all back in in fact I'm, i tell you what i'm gonna have a quick google search on that now because i want to get this all in in one go i don't want to be pulling it in out in out so let me just have a quick google search on that see what that actually means key one key two and then we'll uh, we'll get this wiring in so i've had a little bit of a read up and i think key one and key two go to these wires what are on here you'll see we've got a couple of wires what are labeled you'll not be able to read them but i'll read them to you so this one says steering wheel key and now obviously that that part came with the stereo this part came with the fascia adapter i just remember they're from two different companies so there may be a bit of a lost in translation, but we've got key one, key two. Now that one says steering wheel key, and there's also another one there that says steering wheel key. I have to strip the wires back on them. Um, there is an also a one there that says ground. Now that one says ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect them all together, and we're just going to see what happens. Because, be honest, I'm not 100% sure. So we're going to put these spade connectors on, then we can always disconnect them, you know, if it's not right. So that's what we're going to do. Tight fit connected, ground to ground connected. Now, no idea what that's for. I'm going to leave that out. It's obviously an aux cable, but like I said to you, I'm going to get an adapter for the original one to play. There's a couple of other wires on here what are not labelled. Absolutely no idea what they're for. Unsure. We'll just see if it works without them. Right, what else we got? GPS antenna. Now, we're going to just stick the GPS antenna to the ceiling of that back there we're just going to stick that there that's sound what else we got aerial ain't it where's aerial adapter aerial adapter is that's not it there the aerial adapter we're going to stick the aerial adapter into into there that one goes into there and then connect that to the unit I think that's it. Now, there's all these other little bits and bobbios, but we're not going to bother with. That is uh, audio in, audio out, maybe for an amp or something. That's a completely universal wiring kit. If you want to wire it into something completely different, that's a universal one. We're not interested in that. As I said before, we're not interested in the USBs. We're going to get an adapter for the original one to work. And this one is for, looks like cameras and or maybe screens, rear screens, something like that. If you wanted to project what you've got on here onto rear screens, which we don't, absolutely no use to us as well. And then the other one is just another USB, which we're not bothered about. So everything that we're interested in there is now on, I believe. So let's bundle all that down, back, back of that dashboard. And let's slip it in and see if it fires up, shall we? 
try and get it all down there neatly. Right. Here goes. There's one side in. Right, I think that's it before I clip it in. Hopefully for the last time. There we go, looking lovely. Right, let's flick the ignition on, see if it fires up. Hey! Right, press and hold the button on the steering wheel to start learning matching. Okay, so let's go for the volume up. Hey, volume up. So that is volume up. Let's go for volume down, volume down. Um, what else we got? We've got speak, command function. That's command. We've got pick phone up, which is that one. We've got next track, that one. Back of track, that one. And phone down. Phone, no, sorry, that's phone up. That's phone down. That's phone down. That's phone up. And that is mute. Right. I think that's it. Save and exit. Save. Now let's click radio. And. Oh, hey, we've got radio. We don't want a copyright strike though, so we'll be careful with that. Right, will volume up work? Yes, it does. Volume up, volume down works. Does next radio station work? Yes, it does. Does command function work? Let's turn that down. We don't want a copyright. Command function. Yes, it does. Dial phone. So everything is working, guys. Absolutely perfect. Everything on the steering wheel is all working as it should. So that little bit of wiring, what I've done, was working perfect. Right, let's have a flick through what else we've got then. So, well, let's... This is annoying about Chinese um, head units, how it doesn't tell you what radio station, but it's very easy to fix. If you click settings and click, there you go, RDS. Turn RDS on, go back, and now if we, it should, should learn what, ra what it's called. Yep, there you go, BBC Radio 3. Let's click again. Let's go for something like Capital. That should be Radio 1 if I'm correct. Right, there you go, BBC Radio 1. Hang on, it's not saved, has it? Hang on. BBC Radio 1, let's save that as a preset. We'll put that there, actually. Is that working? Let's... Yep, that's working fine. So we don't want a copyright strike, so I can't play you the radio stations, but that's how you get it to save as the actual names rather than just that, because that annoys me a little tiny little bit. Um, what else we got? Uh, that's about it, really. It's UK. That's about it for radio, so let's go back to some other stuff. Let's go back to... Sorry, sorry guys, it's obviously it's my first time using it. Right, we've got YouTube, Chrome, Maps, Multiplayer. So, I am just going to sign into my Google account on here because then it will link everything. It will link my YouTube, it will link my Maps, it will link everything on there and we can start trying to have a play with it. So, just give me two ticks on that one. Okay, Google is successfully signed in, so let's have a little play. Let's go for YouTube. So, this is connected to my phone. It is running off my phone and you can see we are signed into my YouTube account. So, if we just click us, there we go. That's signed in, working perfect. Let's go to search, shall we? Let's search for... Let's search for our channel. And let's search the last video what we did, which is one of these here. Let's have a listen. Quality, fantastic. So we won't get a copyright strike off this because it's my own channel. Welcome to Norfabs. How cool is that? Good morning, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Awesome. To so we'll just pause that. 
that's working great also really happy with the quality of it the quality is nice what is that streaming in so that is in low quality actually as well let's change that to 1080p let's have another look now look at that the quality of that is fantastic i don't know how guys you how well you guys can see it turn me down a little bit that is streaming to me in 1080p fantastic quality on the screen awesome next up then what else we got maps let's have a look at maps let's see if his gps antennas working so let's search for the garage. Um, I'll tell you one thing I'm going to turn off. That beeping noise, that is getting on my nerves. Let's search for the garage. There we go. NAW Automotive. For those of you who don't know, that is the company name. Is my initials. 16 minutes away from my house. GPS antenna is working absolutely perfect. Happy days. Right, let's get rid of this horrible beep. That is driving me insane. Um, so, device, general, probably. No, device, sound. Touch sound. Be gone. Let's get rid of you. That should be sound now. Yeah, so touch sound's gone. That's That were annoying. We didn't like that. Okay, let's check Bluetooth connectivity. Let's see what Bluetooth like. So, Bluetooth music. Yeah, that was me a minute ago just trying to figure out how to connect them wires. So let's go to blue. Let's go to YouTube Music, and let's go on a no copyright sound. Let's try this one again. Absolutely perfect. Let's uh, let's have a play with the settings. So uh, what we're on a minute ago, device. Audio setup. Right, what we got here? Actually, you know, doesn't sound too bad in here. The speakers wasn't great in here before. It is a camper van. It's not a. It's not a sports car. Just gonna have a little play with that. See if we can get. I don't know what I'm doing. To be honest. No idea what I'm doing. <laughs> we'll go back to default. <laughs> no idea. Turn it. So sound quality is great. I don't really know what I'm doing with settings and stuff, so we'll leave that as it is. Loudness, amplifier, turn on, blah, blah, blah. Compensated, but there's so many settings. I'm gonna have to sit and go through all the settings, so I'll not bore you to tears with that. So we've checked YouTube, we've checked Bluetooth, let's go on Play Store. So we are logged in on my Google account, so it will show us the, everything on Play Store. There we go. You can pretty much go on here and, and down whatever you like. <laughs> Uh, I'm no, no doubt you can download Netflix, which let's have a look, make sure we haven't got it. Oh my goodness, look at all these. So we've got CarLink, Bluetooth, Chrome, YouTube. Uh, what's this? OBD Talk. Please, no OBD. Oh, so you can connect a, uh, your Bluetooth, you know, like your Carly's and all that and malarkey. You can connect them to your OBD port. That will, uh, that's handy. That's really handy, actually. I think we'll probably buy one of them now. Or if any companies want to reach out to me, get in touch and we'll uh, we'll give it a review. Yeah, we might get one of them, plug it into one of these. Could be handy if we're on a, a long drive and we get an issue with van, we can plug it in and look on his, on his stereo. Interesting. Right, let's go on. I don't think we've got Netflix, so let's see if we can download Netflix, shall we? Uh, how do you... It's giving me a tour. Hang on. How do you search... Not too sure. Oh, there you go. Search straight in front of my eyeballs. So initially, it's not laggy. It's pretty fast. Let's look at Netflix. There we go. Install Netflix.
and that's downloading as we speak. I'll let that download and we'll log into that and we'll give that a whirl as well. Hopefully you can see Netflix is now opening and signing using my Google account. And there we are on Netflix. What have we got on here? So I have been watching recently Gangs of London, which is awesome, by the way. I'm only on Series 1 and I'm already addicted to it. Let's just have a look, see if it'll play in here, shall we? We'll turn it down so we don't get a copyright. Absolutely awesome, guys. Playing straight away as fast as that. No issue whatsoever. We'll just give it a little bit of a second to see if it fires in. No problem whatsoever. Straight in there. Happy days. Tell you what, again, yet again, I'm impressed with this. Awesome bit of kit. We'll get Netflix on home screen, I think. So what should we delete off here? Should we get, we don't want Chrome on home screen, do we? We're not going to be browsing Chrome while we're in in car, let's be honest. We're not going to be. So let's find Netflix. Where's Netflix? There it is. We'll drag that. And we'll have, oh, I've just dropped it. Where's it gone? It's there, look. There we go, there's all those essentials really, isn't it? On his home screen, we've got YouTube, Bluetooth, Play Store, Music Player, Google Maps, Netflix. What more could a man want? What's this here? No navigation application is set. Ugh, we don't want navigation, we've got Google Maps. Anywhere I'm going, I always use Google Maps. I never use anything else, I'll be honest with you. So what more is there to say about this, guys, to be honest with you? HDMI in. So I think the only thing really left to do is let's get a screen protector on it and keep it from damage shall we because yeah i'm really happy with that i'll give you a proper better look at the installation around it then got fingerprints all over at the moment but i'll get camera and i'll pan it around let you see all the gaps and stuff see how it sits as you can see all fits the dash perfect up here the little new face plate fits smooth and everything really happy with that folks i think that's a, a very nice upgrade to what i had in there before let me know what you think in the comments? Do you like it? Is it a worthy upgrade? Or have I just ruined my uh, my camper van by hacking it? To... I mean, I haven't hacked it, have I? I had to put a few little cuts in there. But sometimes you've got to do what you've got to do to make things work. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. I will put the link to the product in the description. Please, please, please go and check them out, guys. They were nice enough to send me this unit. If you've watched all the review, please, please, please go and check it out. If you like it, absolutely go and buy one. This is from Amazon, so UK stock fast delivery it is a chinese company but you will get it really fast i got that in two days i think it was really really fast and i'm really happy with it there may be other cheaper alternative ones around there but please guys don't give me no hate in the comments if you know that there's one cheaper or whatever don't come in comments hating me just move on to the next video yeah i'm just i'm just promoting what the companies are sending me the, the companies send me these for free i review it in review in return for that yeah and obviously i'm not lying to you i'll give you an honest review you've just watched it with your own eyes everything's working great the steering wheel controls are working great and all that sort of stuff now if you watch the carplay one i said i'm giving it away that still stands i am still giving it away i'm just giving it a little bit longer to see if anyone else wants to jump on there because not a lot of people jumped on that one i'll be honest um sadly i won't be giving this one away because this is going to be staying in the camper i have actually modified the dashboard and everything to work so unfortunately this one will be staying i will not be doing a giveaway on this one but if you do want a chance to win a ai box for your factory car play which is also pretty sick lets you um lets you watch youtube and stuff in your car on your factory head unit obviously i couldn't do it on this one this didn't have car play it was a bit dated to be fair everything in the fiat is a little bit dated like the dashboard's dated and everything but yeah Check it out, guys. I'll put the link in the description to that video as well. Yeah, jump in the description. If you want to buy the product, the link will be there. Thanks for watching ever so much, guys. Please, if you do like my channel, give me a subscribe. It would mean a lot. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.